with another video and if you're wondering oh she's missed a week um no i haven't um i'm just a day late <laughs> um the reason for this is i didn't really have an idea um well i did have an idea of what i was gonna do but i didn't know what to do for my part two so i needed to really like just plan it out for one more day so there's going to be two parts to this video like the last one um but i'm filming these on the same day so they i make sure that they come out next week um but it's going to be my 2020 hopes because last year i done my 2019 hopes which is absolutely crazy i can't believe i done that um a year ago so i'm gonna be looking at the video and well i've already looked at the video but <laughs> i'm gonna be going through what i said in that video and have i achieved it or am i going to achieve it in 2020 or whatever it is so let's dive right into it so i'm going to start off like my other video did and basically i was talking about my 2018 2019 was um a good it was better than 2018 i must say um fifth year i definitely underestimated it even that video was a bit optimistic when i look back at it to be perfectly honest and obviously like i have friends in ty and they regret not doing fifth year and i'm doing fifth year and sometimes i regret not doing ty but our choices are is our choices and you know it is what it is <laughs> um um yeah the i'd say the highlight of my year would be the junior results because that was like the thing that i was just looking forward to because it just felt like so long that i'd done the junior and then i didn't get a result and finally i got my results i was very proud of them and um it was a great moment opening up that envelope in the hall with everybody screaming and you seeing your own results and all I saw was an A and I jumped up and I was happy <laughs> and then I like went back and obviously saw which was for which and all that um but it's like that was a big milestone for me and I mean I remember in the video I was bo boasting about how me and Thales were together for one year and we're nearly two years going up together now on the 2nd of January so yay for that um I never thought that I'd be going out with him or anyone for that matter for two years at 16 it's really insane and like it's kind of different than a friendship it's like more than that it's like it's really hard to explain it feels like i've only known him for like six months but then again it feels like i've known him for ages and it's like the most weirdest feeling ever <laughs> um but it's definitely a great feeling to have someone there every single day to talk to and you know it's just great <laughs> um yeah i think that's really it i've made some friends there's obviously been dramas and all of that but i mean you'll get that um i've definitely matured this year more than i have in other years and i've left some negativity from 2018 like going into 2019 i had a bit of negativity of other people with me so i decided to kind of like get rid of that negativity and drama in my life and it's really improved me as a person and has matured me to be able to be in fifth year and to deal with everything and yeah so now going in the order of um the old video um i'm going to be going through um my hopes but I'm going to be going through my 2019 hopes to see did I achieve them. So my first thing was to be more positive for 2019. And I think I have become more positive um, because I think I didn't know at the time 
that I had a few negative people in my life and like as people we are our own worst critics so it just like I was very critical to myself and whenever I'd get below the percentage that I'd want in a test or anything I would beat myself up about it and um I always thought that my parents just wanted me to get A's and um you know they like they always wanted me to get good grades as in any parent but what I realized over the time was they'll be proud of me no matter if I get an A or a D and I had to put myself to that realization and that just didn't stress me out as much because I knew that I tried my best and everything and I still do and so you know I think that's one thing I didn't really understand in 2018 is that like I shouldn't pressure myself as much and I think that was one of the things in 2018 that I hoped for um but it'll obviously come up later if it is a thing so yeah to the next thing and as i said in the last video um another hope i had in 2018 for 2019 was to be less stressed and i think it's just because i didn't have that realization of that my parents just wanted me to do my best and not like i obviously to get a good grade but even if i didn't it wasn't a big deal because the real stress for me when I was in third year was the mock and I failed a history test because I've never really failed a test before that and I've always like maybe scratched the surface or like maybe like failed in a sense because you might get like a percentage under but I never failed so bad and then in the mock because I like I just failed <laughs> and I was so upset with myself and I didn't want to tell my parents so I didn't and for a long time I was just like stressed about what they'd think and stuff and <laughs> I was on the front I was on the phone with um Thomas and I was telling him how I was so stressed and stuff and he just told me to tell my parents which I would not do because I thought that they'd be like really disappointed in me and stuff but instead they were just saying to like do better next time or you know put my head <clears throat> more in the books for that particular subject and I think that was the feedback that I kind of needed because after that I got the realization that They'll be proud of me no matter what and so yeah i think i didn't have that kind of mindset when i was in 2018 and i like obviously always wanted to please my parents i still do um but obviously human error and i was never good at that particular subject so <laughs> i mean i knew i wasn't doing it in fifth year but that was no excuse for failing it of course because I did try my best and I mean I was I, I was happy to get the percentage I got. My new bad subject um is counting. <laughs> so it has changed. So um my next one was um to be less conscious because my YouTube uh videos are long to video as it is. But I used to be very conscious about angles and how I looked and in general I was just very conscious about what I wore and my body and how I was talking and everything like that. But now I think that was just because I cared about what people thought about me and like to a certain extent you always will. But I don't like kind of give a shit if you hate me, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I just kind of... if. Like, if I was the 2018 EFA, I'd be, like, very conscious about what everybody thinks about me. And if one person doesn't like something about me, I will change it for that 
person only so they would like me because I wanted everybody to like me but I realized after a while not everybody's gonna like you and you know what you're better off without them probably because you don't need those negative people in your life you know so I think I kind of came turn to terms with that this year so you know okay so this one was for people to be more accepted and I talked about this in my last video um in, 20, in 2018 but um it was basically because when I was younger I wasn't accepted as a kid I was chubby I was half I, I am half Asian and um not a lot of people wanted to be with me um, for one reason or another and I was very excluded and um, when I was in sixth class there was this um, you know these girls I was friends with and one of them comes up to me and says you know you were never really our friend anyway we just felt sorry for you and I knew that wasn't true because some of those girls actually did like me but that kind of like broke me and I was like what? <laughs> and then I lost weight and well for my health and because I thought that people would like me more and they did but then I just realized how two-faced people can be and after losing all that I was like you know what I don't need them in my life I just need new positive people who will accept me for who I am no matter how thin or fat I get they will accept me and I've had friends since first year who stand with me today and they're like the best friends that I could ever have we've had our ups we've had our downs we've been through thick and thin and you know um they are the greatest friends I can ask for and also girls that I've just met this year or lads like friends just I've made this year as well they're equally as brilliant but <laughs> those girls in first year who I made friends with they will always <laughs> they I think if they made it this far they, they'll make it because um they're they're actually great friends and I couldn't ask for anyone else to be my friends than those girls and the girls who are as I call them the fifth year girls because I count myself as not a real fifth year yet because <laughs> I skipped two I. There's like the actual two, the actual fifth years, and then there's us who skipped it. So like, I've made friends with the fifth years. It's just easier to, like, in my head to like section it off. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So at the time, I had two hundred and six subs, and. I called Thomas my friend. Um, I call like everyone kind of knew about him, but I still called him my other friend's name whenever my dad would ask. <laughs> so because I was very afraid of like my dad not liking him and stuff. Um, obviously, because it's like the first boyfriend that he knows about. And, you know it was very big so <laughs> yeah I, I call Thomas my friend and um I was six months at YouTube at this time and I had 206 subscribers and I was on the moon and still I am still like absolutely shocked about how many subscribers I have so in 2018, I wanted 500 subscribers. I have 498 <laughs> subscribers. So, if you're new, you can subscribe if you want. Um, our family is constantly growing. Um, it is basically more than doubled. Um, it's <laughs> been amazing going on trips and letting me see myself develop as a person and i can look through all my videos and see how much i've improved and things i could improve on and like as a person how i've changed and i think that's why that video from 2018 
it's really helping this video in 2019 because I get to see what my hopes were because I would make hopes but I never look back on them like because I was young and I didn't keep that piece of paper for a year but that is up on the internet forever <laughs> so I can go back on it and I can see it and you know this time next year I'll be doing another video and hopefully who knows what will happen um so yeah i asked for 500 subscribers and i'm nearly at it i can't wait and i know one day i'll hit it hopefully it's before the new year because you know it, it just be special because i remember i hit 200 and that was my new year kind of thing so if i hit like a hundred number i'd be happy <laughs> um but thank you all for supporting me and um, it's been absolutely amazing to upload mostly every week <laughs> um, and to let you kind of have an insight to my life and um, YouTube is challenging and uh, definitely more challenging than I thought it was but you know it was fun it, it's been fun and it will be fun for the future so one of my things was to kind of study better or like become better I, I, I don't really know what I meant but it was basically for the genius cert to like study better to get good grades and I achieved that so tick on that list the next one I had was to get better at guitar I have got better at guitar and I've got new guitar and I've got guitar equipment and um you know i really have got better at guitar and being more confident in playing my guitar and although i will admit it brings got talent definitely since i didn't get through and all that it did like kind of push my confidence a lot um but i'm going up on that ladder uh of confidence and i am i i have reached a good amount to be honest <laughs> and i'm getting more and more confident every day um for a while i didn't play my guitar and i wouldn't take it out uh, only for videos and i wouldn't play it because i didn't love it anymore and i just didn't see a point in doing it um but after a while i stuck my head <laughs> into you know you know like i didn't get through there but a lot of artists didn't even go on talent shows and they became famous so you know so my next one was to rebuild broken bonds and i didn't do that <laughs> um yeah it's kind of better not having them in my life to be perfectly honest because there was one specific girl i had in mind and i did kind of make friends with her again but when i went back being friends with her i realized why i wasn't friends with her so kind of you know so this ties in with the conscious one but it was to love ourselves um i mean yeah i achieved that one i guess and to make more friends which i did because i said it at the beginning of the video so boom um and i remember i was ranting about this for a long time because when i said to make more friends it sounded like i had no friends <laughs> and I have friends just to make more friends and you know whatever um so yeah yeah uh so I'll be back with another video for you it's like not even five seconds for me it's like 10 minutes and I'll see how many things I've achieved this year uh for my achievements list what i haven't achieved and am i going to achieve in 2020 or am i going to like just scratch that and why so i'll be back so with that i had 10 things and out of those 10 things i achieved seven and i kind of achieved two and this is the reason why so basically the ones that i kind of achieved is first the subscribers one because i asked for 500 subscribers by the end of 2019 and I'm at 498, so I've kind of achieved that, but not yet, but I will soon, hopefully. And um, to rebuild broken bonds, I did do that. I did, but I didn't at the same time. So 
I rebuilded a bond with this girl and I at the time when I was making the video I was I was thinking of this very specific girl and I did rebuild the bond but then I broke it again <laughs> so I kind of achieved it um and the one that I didn't achieve was for people to be more accepted because it wasn't really a goal for me it was just something that I wanted to talk about um so it wasn't even in the 10 kind of but i couldn't think of anything else so yeah <laughs> that's that's why um so in part two i will have my 2020 hopes and it's on this very messily wrote piece of paper that i've been having since the start of this video and this pen that i've been clicking throughout the video which has probably annoyed you um so yeah I'll be doing the outro and then part two um, next week for you in 30 minutes for me. So <laughs> power of editing. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below anything you want me to do on this YouTube channel or things you might want me to do in 2020 or hopes I should have. I don't know. You come up with it um i mean honestly the comment section is yours and whenever people comment things for me to do um it re like i really do concentrate on that and like a few people have asked me to do songs and stuff and don't think that i've ignored your comment or anything it's just maybe i am not able to do that song for a particular reason or i can't sing it or whatever it is it's not personal um <laughs> so um, as I says, as I said, um, at, like, near the start of the video, um, subscribe if you're new, um, because I'm near 500 subscribers, but also, I mean, if you, if you like my other videos, like my singing videos and all that, then you should definitely subscribe for more because there's plenty coming in 2020. Let me tell you that. I don't really know what's coming in 2020, but that's the fun of YouTube. Um, probably maybe a trip or who knows what's going to happen in 2020. And that's why you should subscribe because this year has been crazy. Went to Malaysia, skipped to UI, had my juicy results. A lot of things for me that were important to me and I shared it with the world basically um <laughs> so yeah and click the the bell icon so every time i <coughs> <coughs> so every time i upload you'll be notified and um yeah that's really it for today guys i really really hope you enjoyed this video and i can't wait to see you next week for part two